then i feel like the last time i done a girl talk i literally nearly broke down on the video i would rather sit alone with absolutely no friends than sit with a bunch of girls that are chatting absolute crap about each other how do you talk to a boy when you both like each other and you're both too shy but i was really struggling for a really long period of time the girls have already got an opinion on me from what they've seen online going out so that's like, a party and then like some girl came up to me once at a party and was like everyone in my school absolutely hates you but i think you're really nice what to do if you're still in love with my ex even though we've both moved on pure waffling and i do feel really ill still it's getting closer to midnight i try to get closer to you hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a basically girl talk i'm going to be giving you all my advice when it comes to anything that i can help you on um basically things that i have experienced or kind of know a little bit about that i can kind of help you guys on um before we start this video i'm actually just gonna be putting on these hydrogel eye masks because basically i have worn lash extensions for months on end now and i find Finally having a bit of a break and i find with the reason i hate mascara is because it always goes under my eyes and it's making my eyes look really dark right now so i'm just gonna put these hydro gel masks on they're from revolution and i got gifted them ages ago and i'm gonna put this there like so and right basically i asked you guys on instagram for girl talk um questions and i'm gonna be giving you guys them and dilemmas so starting off we're gonna go with does Starface really work i think it's doing nothing for me okay so with me i find it really depends on the spot i have i went through a bit of a i didn't really think it was working for me anymore phase and then there's certain spots on my skin where i think it works to a certain extent don't get me wrong i think they've changed their manufacturers or something because the old Starface that i promoted at the start i'm gonna get a nicer light this light is really horrible that's a bit better i guess the star face that i was using at the start compared to now is two completely different like star face they just they don't seem the same anymore so yeah i would say it kind of depends on the skin type but i would say they're nowhere near as effective as they used to be when i first got my hands on them someone said my boyfriend doesn't seem interested in me keep things from me and lies 24 7 I want to trust him, but it's difficult because I feel like I'm going to get hurt again. I feel like trust is a massive thing in a relationship. Like, if you can't trust someone, there is genuinely, and I mean genuinely, no point in you even staying in the relationship. For me, like, I would say I've kind of got a bit of bad trust issues from, like, previous talking stages, which is sometimes hard because no one's the same. Like, everyone's different, and I feel like for me, I know this is kind of off topic, but... For me, I feel like when people have done me bad in like before, like especially just like random talking stages, that now I'm scared my boyfriend's gonna do it to me. But like in the back of my head, I know he's obviously not gonna do it, but there's always a constant fear. And once someone shows you that they've done something, like once someone shows you that there's a side of them that you've never seen before, maybe they've done something disrespectful, or maybe they've just done something that's really badly hurt you. Once you've seen that side of them, sometimes it's really hard to then grasp the actual them because everyone makes mistakes. If you're in a relationship with someone, it's so normal for you to make mistakes. And obviously like if you're around my age, then it's just like the prime time you're gonna do something wrong. But obviously, for me like once people do me wrong i normally end up just getting up and leaving because like if someone's showing you disrespect like they're not treating you the best to their ability then there's no point you staying in a relationship with them and that's not even just relationships that's friendships too like as soon as someone shows me that they ain't a true friend or they've done something wrong i will take that and leave that will be me gone like i will completely blank you i'll pretend i don't know who you are because for me if you show disrespect then that's that's enough for me to walk out um but i find for me as well like obviously you're saying you don't feel like he's interested in you anymore i think it's definitely like you should speak to him about it because sometimes it can just be yourself overthinking it and sometimes that can actually be the case and if they're not giving you what you're expecting then i'd get up and leave because at the end of the day if they're not going to give you exactly what you're wanting and they're not going to change for you then why are you with them like they're clearly not the person for you because you should feel like you can be yourself around your boyfriend or girlfriend or 
partner or whatever and yeah like if, if they're not going to give you 100 percent, then there's no point you staying with them um and i know who that is and i love you and i'm not going to say your name in case that your boyfriend was to watch me i said any revision tips for me i think past papers like mock papers are really really important going through them kind of gives you an example and an idea of what you're going to get in your actual exam so i do quite a lot of past papers and then also on top of that you can do revision books pearson's the one that i promote before they're really good revision books and um, they're not too expensive either and they also have like an online now but you can use Seneca, Doddle, I think that's another one, Doddle, I remember. Seneca is definitely one. Quite a few to be fair, but I would definitely look into getting on one of them websites. Hecate Maths for Maths is all right. I mean, it's not amazing, but it does the job. So yeah, recommend. Someone said, when I'm meant to say, when someone says they like you, but you don't like them back, I said, what am I supposed to say? In my life, I haven't really experienced that, I don't think. Like, people don't confess their love to me, unless like, I've given them the reason to, so. <laughs> I don't really feel like I've had to experience this, but if I was you, I'd just basically shut it down in a polite way. Just be like, oh, thank you. And I'm really grateful that you like me like that. But unfortunately, like I'm not, I don't see you in that way. You don't have to be horrible. You can just be normal about it and you can still be friends with them. But as long as you've given them the clear no, then there's no reason for you not to be able to be friends with them. But personally, like, I'm not going to be friends with someone if they've told me they liked me. And like, if you're in a new relationship, that's a bit disrespectful in my opinion. Like, if, it, if a boy said to me in the past, oh, I like you and I still continue to be friends with them whilst I have a boyfriend, I personally think that's really disrespectful to my new boyfriend or to my boyfriend. So yeah, it's up to you how you take it. But someone said, any advice on leaving a toxic friendship group? I always talk to my friends about this because there's a lot of girls from different schools that I talk to that tell me like, oh, I'm like, the girls being horrible at school. And I always think to myself, I would rather sit alone with absolutely no friends then sit with a bunch of girls that are chatting absolute crap about each other that don't actually like each other use each other and all of that i find with me i've gone through it all i've been through friendship groups i've been through boys group just like me with a bunch of boys i've been through it with just me and a bunch of girls like i've actually experienced every kind of friend group and it's took me a really long time to actually realize i do not need like any group as such i just need a few friends to get on with life and like obviously if there is groups formed i'm never gonna stop it from happening but i've been in a lot of friendship groups and like with boys for example i can't really say a bad thing about like dan and georgia was always nice to me um and yeah like we got on fine but then as soon as you added new people to the group it always ended up being worse or like i just think with friendship groups is very clicky and i'm not really one to talk about toxic friendship groups because i've been there so many times but I'd just say, if I was you, keep your circle small and keep your friends close. But your enemy, no, keep your enemies close, but your friends, I can't really remember the saying. Whatever that saying is, I, I agree with it. <laughs> Someone said, how do you talk to a boy when you both like each other and you're both too shy? For me, I feel like with like boys, with my boyfriend, for example, we've always just been able to it's always been really easy to fit to be fair and i feel like if you have to force it with someone you clearly don't like them that much because if you have to try force a convo and you're like not really finding it easy to then you clearly don't like them that much because for me it's like if i'm around someone i like i can't stop talking like i just am my like myself and i feel like at home so i would say like it's really hard because if you're not really feeling it maybe you're just too shy and that's normal and you're probably a bit younger or maybe you're my age and you're just too shy like a lot of girls my year are still shy but um if i was you i just talk like try find things out about him that he likes and then just mention it in conversation just drop it in be like oh yeah you like football who's your favorite team and like just try to start convo and even if you have no idea about football just say who your dad supports or your brother or your mum or your nan or your great uncle just talk about that because boys seem to love talking about football it's like easy stuff so yeah someone said how to make a guy like you i think this is a really horrible thing like, a, like obviously they're not trying to be horrible but if a boy doesn't like you for you being yourself then they clearly won't like you so like for me i could give you all the advice in the world of like ways that like boys have liked me in the past but i don't really feel like it's a good thing like if a boy is not liking you for you don't change for a boy let let the boy that actually likes you for you come around and i feel like there's so much pressure especially at like year nine i feel like year 10 and even my year not really so much my year but probably like last year year before so much pressure into getting relationships or like doing things or like being the person that you don't want to be the last girl to have their first kiss and stuff like that but like honestly take it slow Low, wait until what happens to you because the worst thing is like forcing something that you clearly don't want and you're just basically doing it because you just want to get it done and over with because 
like fine i just think it's not a very good mindset to have and you're not only just hurting yourself you're also going to hurt them in the end of it as well someone said how's your mental health at the moment i feel like the last time i done a girl talk i literally nearly broke down on the video um i was really badly struggling with my mental health and a lot of things wasn't going my way um and i feel like now i've got a lot better i have my moments don't get me wrong but everyone has their moments it's not no different to how i was before but i was really struggling for a really long period of time but really feel like i spoke about it but everything seemed to not be going my way i was getting really overwhelmed over little things comparing myself to absolutely everything and anyone and no it's not the best and it was not a nice thing to go through i'm basically out of it now like I just think it's really hard because when you're in the mindset and people are saying that, oh, it will get better soon, you don't think it will get better because in your mind, it's bad right now. It doesn't matter what the future holds, you're still upset now. But I think it's hard to tell yourself, oh yeah, it's going to get better, but it's not going to get better, better until you physically make yourself get up, do things that you necessarily wouldn't normally do. Like now I go back to netball, I tried a new netball club. Like I was so nervous to trial because... Obviously, like, with my social media, girls know me already. Like, girls have already got an opinion on me from what they've seen online. Not all girls do, obviously. But, like, especially in the area that I do my netball. Like, I used to grow up there. Like, it's, it's quite, like, harsh and very much so. Like, I do social media, so it's double the, like, pressure than it is for someone that was to just go into netball. But I know how hard it is for girls, especially our age, to start new clubs. Like, credit if you do that because I think it's really, like, intimidating at first. Um, and I'm hoping, like, I end up making friends at my new netball. I mean, I've gone there with my friend may and we've made a few cute friends but to be fair like obviously it's very early so hopefully i actually end up making good friends from it because yeah it's really intimidating going in knowing some people probably already know you like a girl already mentioned on my trial day like oh i watch your videos and then it's like i hope you like me because i don't want you to get like a bad impression of me or whatever because sometimes like especially in my area girls talk and they say a lot of crap that's not true about me and then i end up like going out say like to a party and then like some girl came out to me once at a party and was like everyone in my school absolutely hates you but i think you're really nice and i just thought why does all your school hate me like i don't know your school like it's my boyfriend's school i don't know any of them girls enough to be like oh yeah i'm your friend other than one now like i've got really good friends with but other than that like i don't know these girls and they all seem to hate me for no reason so i don't know it's just a bit of a weird weird situation to be in um so yeah getting your period at school with no supplies the amount of times i do this every single time on my period i forget to bring tampons in or like if i'm due on i always forget for me like i got to some of my girl mates about it and just say like oh have you got a pad um but also like i'm pretty sure your school has to provide them so if you go to your school um pastoral i know it's so awkward having to ask them but honestly they don't care and especially if they're women they really don't care they probably have to do it with their daughters and also so just go up to them and just say look have you got any um tampons or pads um as i haven't got one and i need one and then yeah the school should give you one i'm pretty sure they have to if you go to your medical and if not maybe just like call your mum and say can i come home quickly or your dad or whoever what to do if you're still in love with my ex even though we've both moved on see that's a major red flag in my opinion like if you're like, if i was in a relationship with someone and they're still in love with their ex and they're clearly not into me so i'd leave um but i feel like you still love your ex and you're trying to move on you're only gonna hurt the person you're trying to move on with more because it's not a very nice feeling so if i was you take time away from trying to just move on to try to distract because let's be real you're probably moving on to distract yourself if i was you i'd avoid doing that because you're gonna hurt yourself and you're also gonna hurt the boy that you're trying to like distract yourself with because he's then gonna be insecure and he's gonna have problems and probably really really distrust people in the future because of you but you still loving your ex when you're trying to move on um the best that like the best thing to do if you're still in love with your ex is to genuinely block him on everything because as soon as you have like a like whoever you're still in love with if you have them on everything you're gonna be constantly seeing their stuff you're gonna get back in love like understand not everyone has to block because with my previous relationships i didn't necessarily block them because that's just harsh you just don't have to talk to them anymore and yeah i've restricted their account or something like you can do little things but i personally if i was still in love with my ex which i'm definitely not in love with either of my exes i would definitely like block them off everything and uh, <laughs> what is it? love you love you um okay i'm gonna do one more someone said feeling alone even though you have friends i would say when i was talking about struggling this is something that i struggled really badly with because i do this thing sometimes where i have a say i have a group of friends 
I always seem to have that one friend that I get attached to and then all my other friends end up getting pushed away but I don't even intentionally mean to do it I just get really like close with one friend and then all my other friends are still there but I end up drifting away from them and just sticking with that friend all the time um, but I did go through a phase where I completely I completely felt like really lost and alone and I felt like I literally had no one and even though I did have friends it just felt like no one was really there for me and I feel like the way you have to get out of that is by kind of like trying to because you can sit there and be like no one likes me no one likes me but unless you're trying with them if they're giving you every reason to show that they don't like you that's not your fault but if you do have friends and you're constantly telling yourself you don't you're also pushing them away as much as they're pushing you away by not talking to you so i'd always try to advise that you need to get close to your friends and like try to talk to them more plan things with them even if it's just come sit in my room for a bit like you can just come around mine or oh can i come yours can we just go sit in the garden when it's sunny like anything go on a walk do this do that like nothing has to be expensive and i feel like with friends it's always like oh yeah let's go out let's go for a meal but like no i don't actually care about going for a meal i just want to see you so if it's like well we'll go to the park or oh let's go on a dog walk or oh can i come around yours i'll just sit in your room for a bit like the amount of friends that come around just to sit in my room like we don't do anything we just sit there um and i feel like i actually became friends again it was like a godsend because i was really struggling at the time with like friends and losing quite a lot of friends and she just popped out of nowhere and was like hi i'm you okay and it was just like whoa it's like god gave her to me because i needed her really badly at that time and now we're literally like the bestest of friends and also like scarlet's still my best friend i absolutely love her ellie ellie louise and Eloise, they're all friends of mine that I've had for quite a long time and I'm literally like, they're my best friends so I can never really fault them for that ever. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this video here because I've been pure waffling and I do feel really ill still. So I'm gonna take these off because they've been on for about 19 minutes now and I'm just gonna make sure I rub in excess. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I did announce my giveaway winner. I'm gonna have to be doing a new giveaway very soon. This is my Insta if you wanna go follow me. I'm gonna do one when I hit 500k. And if you want, the shout out of the week goes to the top, which is Nicole. I'm gonna follow you now. Congrats. If you wanna be next week's shout out of the week, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and you might be the lucky winner that ends up getting a follow back. So yeah, love you guys lots. Have a good day. Bye.